LK99 as a possible superconductor at room temperature. The unique structure of LK99 was investigated, analyzing the movement and characteristics of electrons within this structure. As a result, it was discovered that electrons exhibit peculiar behavior due to the bonding between copper and oxygen, which is arranged in a distinctive pattern. These electrons form bands and exhibit strong interactions with other electrons, resulting in special properties. This suggests the potential discovery of high-temperature superconducting materials. Additionally, copper possesses magnetic forces in different directions. When two copper materials have magnetic forces in the same direction, it is referred to as ferromagnetic, whereas if they have magnetic forces in opposite directions, it is called antiferromagnetic. However, these results are based on the assumption that copper is in the same position throughout the material, necessitating further experimental research. The material's name is Ku-PB9, PO4, 6O, which is a composite of copper and other substances. The study aims to understand how electrons, the smallest particles, move within this material. The research revealed that electrons in this material move in a unique manner. These electrons move in a state where copper and oxygen are combined, referred to as the CuO hybrid state. Notably, the electrons move extremely flatly, resembling small trains moving uniformly along a wide track. This highly flat movement signifies that numerous electrons gather at specific energy levels, forming an electron state density. This special electron state density could serve as a crucial foundation for studying new electron physics and might even lead to the manifestation of superconductivity at room temperature. However, these states can be influenced and altered by changes in symmetrical factors. Disorderly components within real materials may impede these influences. Finally, the reason for the occurrence of these flat states lies in the weak interactions between copper and oxygen materials. Therefore, it is important to search for material structures where the interactions between copper and oxygen are weakened while they still collaborate suitably. Creating such flat states may potentially lead to the manifestation of superconductivity even at high temperatures. Though it remains uncertain whether LK99 possesses such properties, this research opens up the possibility of remarkable discoveries in the future.